ICs with an array of ball leads in BGA cover a wide range of tasks, and the configuration of the leads can vary from trivial square matrices with full fillings to complex irregular patterns. In the absence of automation tools, the design of the footprint is quite time consuming. In the Altium Designer PCB library editor, there is a wizard for building footprints in accordance with the IPC standard. When launching the wizard, you need to select the type of the component body. In our case, it is the type BGA. After specifying the values describing the package overall dimensions, you will find that information in the datasheet, as well as the ball information, we proceed to the next page, where the matrix features are flexibly specified. First of all, if your chip has the pins removed in staggered order, select the staggered grid option from the drop-down menu. The second drop-down menu offers options to extend the description of the output matrix. I will activate a full set of settings to view each one step by step. Any changes you make will be displayed in the preview window. Cavity size. Here you can specify the size of the central rectangle with no pins inside. Use this setting if your IC's pins are located along the perimeter. Size of Terminal Array. Here you may add a rectangle with pins inside the empty central zone. Add balls to cavity border. If the perimeter matrix contains additional pins in the center or the corners, use this setting. On the next page, choose how you want to calculate the diameter of the pads, the maximum or minimum material condition, or in percentage of the ball diameter. The following two tabs are responsible for six screen layers, body dimension and a 3D model, and work in a similar way to other package types. At the end, the wizard will suggest the name of the footprint according to the IPC naming convention, and he offers to choose the library for the new footprint. Think about using the option to produce a 3D step model if you cooperate with your MCAT department. Click Finish and your footprint will be written to the library you selected. Let us consider as an example the creation of a flash memory chip in an eMMC form factor. Let's set the dimensions according to the drawing from the datasheet and then go to the page of output matrix formation. According to the drawing, let's set the cavity size to 8x8 eight eight balls. Let's add a square of 6x6 balls in the center and one ball each in the corners of the cavity. I will leave the other parameters unchanged and add the new footprint in the current library. Please note that the letters I and O are automatically excluded from the alphanumeric designation of the pad matrix. After you have created the matrix of pads with the wizard, you can delete pads manually if needed. Finally, save the library and a new footprint is available for component creation.